What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix packet loss when playing Fortnite. Also, this will fix some potential choke and network lag, reducing your latency and all of this is applicable to any other online game you want to play. First of all, make sure that you're using a reliable network connection. You can test your connection on various websites like speedtest.net. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. Check your internet speed and ping. You can always improve your network connection by using an Ethernet cable, if you don't already use one. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. When this is done, open up the game and navigate to your video settings. Here, enable the FPS counter, which will also show your choke and packet loss. This should help you troubleshoot where your network related issues are coming from. In case you experience a high server sided latency, then the issue might not be on your end, but rather related to the server you are playing on. When clicking on the first link in the description, you can check if Epic Games or Fortnite servers are having issues, downtimes or maintenance planned. Next, open up your commands prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Use the command ping google.com. This will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow these next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. You can now exit out of your commands prompt and open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open up the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only enter processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. In your task manager, go to the startup tab to prevent other programs from starting up on system boot. And as always, make sure that your operating system and GPU drivers are up to date to get the most out of your system. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.